Today we will dive deeper into getting our visuals synchronized to the music. Whether you were the one making music or not, or you are playing with a band or a DJ, getting your visuals synchronized to the music is a juice. If you are watching this video, you already know the importance of keeping your visuals synchronized to the music. Hi, I am Zunaid Sabir Ahmed. This is a Resolum Arena 7 tutorial applicable for both beginners and also advanced users might grab some tricks from here and apply in their workflow. If you are new to this software, first check out this video and then come back to this video and follow along. For this project, let's use all the clips that came with Resolume. If you don't find these files, go to files and look for Resolume's default file. You're gonna find them here. Just hold on with me. I will share a few tips to make your own audio video clips for your own playlist. Before we start, if you like my series, I humbly request you to like this video and maybe subscribe as well. A little free digital gesture like that might inspire me to inspire other people that will inspire you back and we can call this a community. Let's go to preferences and check out our defaults to BPM sync and BPM sync. So that means whatever video clips we drag into our project will be in BPM sync also the audio let's put this playback mode to relative i'm putting a video link here which explains relative mode very beautifully why you need that in your project let's hit cross and get out so we are going to noodle with bit snapware which is available in composition bit snap here which will be applicable across the project and we can also change clip wise bit snap here or maybe right click and here if you are not a musician, I can get you scared, showing few stuff notations. Instead, let me simplify this idea of beat that you snap to in beat snap. General music is generally produced in a general format. I think you just noticed I said general three times because there's a genre called jazz which won't listen to anything I just said and it's gonna work on its own way. Usually, a bar is counted in four beats, means there is generally space for four clicks, means one click is one fourth of the bit and half of the click is one eighth of a bit. Usually eight bars like this make a whole circle. Means it's gonna get back to first bit after eight bars. Let me show you a video if it makes sense. So it goes back to here. Bit snap fixes your trigger time by snapping to immediate next best spot to blend in. If you trigger a clip here, it's gonna start playing from here because this one is the meaningful spot that's gonna blend into the whole beat. So let's check out the bit snap for composition. To make this video simpler, let's work with the composition only. So let's set the bit snap for composition to two maybe. So let's MIDI map our very necessary buttons to get our BPMs in our hand. To do that, we're going to make sure our MIDI device is connected. Let's check out in preferences. In MIDI, we see our devices here but not connected. We select MIDI input so that we can hear our MIDI device. And we select MIDI output means we can speak to our MIDI device. This is going to help a lot if you want to use colors. Let's press Ctrl Shift M for shortcut as MIDI mapping, Command Shift M on Mac. Let's select the clip and quickly MIDI map. So we are pretty much done to do some noodling with it. Let's try what we can do. I told you I'm gonna tell you a way to make 
your own audio visual contents. So here it is. Let's open After Effects. Let's drag and drop a very generic 120 BPM loop and maybe a background and maybe a top layer. Let's drag all to After Effects. Select all, drag them to the composition. Let's make everything into single composition. So let's change the composition settings. Let's uncheck the lock aspect ratio button and press our resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. Let's push our audio to up. Let's press double L so that we can see the audio. Let's select these layers and get all the way to the end. So for background session, we're gonna press Control Shift Alter G to get it full screen like that. And for BGM, we are gonna scale it down like this. This is okay. So for this demonstration, we're gonna scale it to the bit. So let's take a listen at how our audio sounds. That's good. We're gonna use until this part maybe. Let's get rid of this part. Press N that trims our composition and here if we select trim come to work area means this is gonna be our working area let's lock this layer we're not gonna work in this composition with background we're gonna lock this layer to keep it simplified we're gonna work only with scale let's make sure our first perimeter is our last perimeter for that we're gonna have a keyframe at the first copy this keyframe and paste it here so on the second bit maybe we're gonna go little smaller and here maybe we come back to our original size until this point we're gonna stay here in the very next frame we're gonna paste our first frame and again here first frame maybe little scale up here again first frame from here let's see what we just did randomly Cool. This is a good loop. So we can just copy this and paste it somewhere here. Let's check out what happens. So you get the idea, right? So we're going to duplicate our last composition. We're going to double click and open it. In this composition, we're going to hide our top layer and lock it. We're going to work for the bottom layer. For this, maybe we do some scaling press s for scaling options press r for rotation let's press u to see all the available keyframes let's hide this layer okay so our first frame need to be our last frame so here is one bar let's paste this keyframe right here okay let's go crazy with this bar now so pow okay again come back to bit here Again, maybe past this. This one can be here. Let's check out what's going on. Don't forget to select them all and press F9 for easy ease. That's a shortcut to ease up everything. So let's rename these compositions. This we are going to call BG. And this we are going to call top. We are going to hide the background. We are going to render out. Let's make sure to make the top layer as alpha DXV because we are going to need the alpha feature of this. Okay, back. So we are gonna drag both of these layers to our resolume and see what happens. Our top layer somehow got renamed to Yep. So we're gonna rename to stay less confused. Let's push up the top layer on the top. Remember we're on bit snap. So if we play this, this is gonna start in a bit. 
So now we can just turn off our audio and hide them from our show audio control option forever. But all the visuals are synced. So we can just tap a tempo and hit resync like tick tuck, tick tick tuck, tick tick. So this is like got slower. Let me change the tempo with a faster BPM and let's see what happens. Let's say our BPM is tick 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 you are the chosen one you are one visual enthusiast like us so follow our community for more videos coming up next